All right, water signs, welcome in. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You know the title of this video. I do not yet. <laughs> so if you're drawn here by the title, there's something here for you. In the extended, I will give individual um, or pull individual cards for Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio just to give you a little more uh, personalized advice. So let's see where we're going. We do have the full moon in Aries energy still hanging around. So a lot of fiery energy. And later this week, we have an Arcturian portal that I will talk about later this week. Okay. That is interesting energy of Arcturus. If you don't know what that is, I'll link. Mm, stay tuned. All right. I think I need to do a video or two about that. All right. I saw this while I was shuffling a couple times. Soul Giraffe. That's one of my favorite cards. Soul Giraffe. Polish your mirror for perfect clarity. Thus one journeys to the stars. So I feel this is a little bit like, I, some of you may feel like you're ready uh, for a new situation or you're just stepping into a new situation and you might feel a little out of sorts. You might feel like, you know, like giraffes, baby giraffes, like they don't know how long their legs are and they're all kind of arms and legs and stuff. So there might be a little bit of an adjustment period here, but that's okay. It's, it's very normal and very natural. And um, there's something really new and beautiful going on, which is super nice. So you may not see yourself accurately at this moment. You may feel that, um, that you just don't have, you just don't quite have your grounded your grounding yet or your sea legs yet or something like that i know what that's about maybe you've started a new job or a new uh situation in your life king of swords oh my king of swords ten of swords and the ace of swords <laughs> okay um some of you could be dealing with an aquarius I feel like you finally had to speak your truth about something and it brought another thing to an end. That's why you're in this new place. All right. So that was going on. That has been going on. But you know what? You've spoken your truth coolly without emotion. And it has ended a thing. Definitely. Ten of swords. There's no eleven of swords. Okay. It has ended a thing. But there's a new day ahead. So four of swords, another sword. Um, Taurus energy in the Hierophant and the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, I feel like you could be healing from that situation. Somebody else might have skewered you. Um, this is quite painful, but it's also final. There's no more, no more um, pain there. It's just, it's done, right? I need to accept it and move on. I need to heal from it and move on. You're getting your opportunity here with this Queen of Pentacles this Taurus energy, and then that Queen of Pentacles. The Death card, there you are, Scorpio. Nine of Cups and the Lover's card, Gemini energy, beautiful. Knight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. I'm just going to pull one here. Okay, so um, some of you might have just recently gone through a thing that has just finished. And it's lovely here, this four of, four of Swords and the Hierophant, the Queen of Pentacles, all about self-love, self-nurturance, right? We're really transforming and going toward what we want. The Death card and the Nine of Cups. We're making this decision. Okay, we're making this decision. The Lover's card is a decision card. Um, it does make sense to me that this kind of wound, this Ten of Swords kind of experience, it's <laughs> it's almost like, okay, in Friday the 13th <laughs> or whatever that is, Halloween, now Halloween with Jamie Lee Curtis, the original one, the original movie, great movie, old movie, um, go back and watch it. It's sort of like he keeps coming back, the Michael, Michael Myers, keeps sitting up after you think he's gone, after you think he's dead, he keeps showing up, he keeps coming back. I feel like there's a little bit of that going on here because this looks like you have moved on, you have done a good job of, of um, leaving a situation in the, path, in the past by speaking your clear and honest truth. King of Swords and Ace of Swords 
there is no more truthful energy than that. And it can be hurtful. You know, it may be hard. It may have been hard for someone else to hear. You may have had some news that was hard for you to hear. But regardless of that, you're making choices about moving forward. I just feel like it keeps showing up. The Three of Swords. It keeps showing up. It keeps showing up because the other person isn't really getting it. All right. So if you have broken up with somebody and you've moved on and you're, you know, out on a date with a new person or you're out with some friends or whatever like that and they see you, they might come up toward, come towards you be like, hey, what's going on? What's this about? And you're like, um, we broke up last week. I don't know if you remember that, but <laughs> there's something like that. This person's not quite getting it. And I feel like you have to continually for a little while here, um, assert your boundary. You have to continually do that. This is the lesson of this. That it's not just a one and done. And I don't feel like you've run away. I don't feel like you've done anything. But I feel like you've actually spoken your truth, which is something that may not have happened with this person before. I just don't think that they get it. I don't think they believe it. I don't think that they can really take it in. What is going on with this Knight of Pentacles, Three of Swords? Four of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Tower, Page of Cups, Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. All right, they're eventually going to get there, but I think there's a couple of uh, new conversations that do happen. Like long since you have moved on, um, they're, wanting, they're continually wanting to go over old territory. They're continually uh, kind of re resuscitating <laughs> Michael Myers, they're, they're, you know, they're continually resuscitating the pain or the, the conversation. It's like, I had this conversation with you. I don't want to have this conversation again. This is unnecessary for us to be doing that because you, what about what I said? Didn't you get, all right. And that's, that can feel, that's very King of Swords. All right. That's very King of Swords. And you might feel is a little bit harsh and I would agree. But at some point you might have to do this like, hey, you know, you might have to kind of shake this person by the shoulders because I do think Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Wands is like, I might have to keep impressing upon this person. Now, this is what's going on. Um, this person is the Four of Cups here. All right. And there is new life for them too. The Four of Cups uh, is some is like they're basically continuing to continuing to focus on the past and they're not letting the new thing show up. I do feel like you might have been um, a little bit too kind or too um, accommodating the page of cups here too accommodating to them in the past. And so then we have this nine of swords of like, oh God, that isn't what I wanted to say. That's really not what I wanted to say. I softened it too much or I, you know, I didn't give them the full measure of what I was trying to get across to them. And so when you really tell it, when you really say it, it comes as a shock and, you know, not your fault, like a kind, a kind, um, we try to be kind to people. We try to let them down easily or whatever, however you want to put it. But at the end of the day, they still have to take it in. They still have to say, yes, I heard you. Yes, you're, I know this is something that you, you're wanting to move on with your life. Okay, I've heard you. But they are not there yet. They are not there yet. So uh, let's see one more thing here. The Knight of Pentacles is, is a little slow. All right. I mean, just, you know, not, not necessarily wanting to be quick on the uptake when someone says something that's hurtful, uh, even if it's necessary, right? They just, they're like, I'm sorry, could you say that again? Could you tell me again? What is it that you mean? Like, and I just don't feel like you have a lot of patience for this. Magician and the Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands, right? And the Three of Pentacles. Um, there's other people that might be able to help, friends or intermediaries of some kind. Yeah. Because I'm seeing a really good, really lovely movement movement forward for you. But this person kind of tries to drag you back a little bit. And I, I just don't think that they really, 
it's it can be because they it wasn't their decision that they try to wear you down. Now, this might be very familiar to you. This might be a person who's done this to you in the past and they have worn you down. I don't think they're going to wear you down this time because eight of cups. It's like, I'm sorry, I'm on my way. Like, I, it, I'm not responsible for whether you take it in or not. And, you know, I've let you know that this is what I'm doing. I'm not responsible for your um, awareness of this. You, It's your job to take in what people say and, and uh, process it. I feel like you might a couple of times feel bad and try to say it again and say it again and say it again. But at a certain point, you're just like, nope, not saying it again. What do you want? Okay. All right. So I am seeing, the reason I'm saying that is that is very Gemini, Aquarius, uh, very air sign energy here. So you might have some air or fire um in you, Gemini, Aquarius, very much so. Also Sag, all right, also Sag and Taurus. So I'll look at those in the extended. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you'll get some special cards just for you. All right, link is below if you wanna continue on. I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, Check out these videos.